Good morning. We're out here. Havasu. Uh, Havasu is on the border of Arizona and California. My parents have a place down here. It's a beautiful neighborhood. It's about a five minute drive from the lake. So the goal today is we're going to take this puppy. We're going to, first of all, we're going to clean it up, you know, give it a little bath, make it look good. And then we're going to take this thing out to the water and do the first test drive. So we got this thing a couple months ago and we've just taken it out here and it's just been sitting ever since. But uh, I've been go coming down here going over it, fixing a few things that were wrong, you know, like the hatch didn't work, so we fixed that. We're just making sure everything's good before we take it out on the water. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over an overview. I don't I don't know this boat like the back of my hand because I just got it, but there is a few things on it that I do know. Like I'll go over the engine with you, um, a few of the things that it has, stereo system, stuff like that. So we'll start by going over the outside of the boat. This is a 22 foot Eliminator Daytona. I wanted a boat that could seat you know four or five people and uh, still go fast. The trailer's on best shape, but that's okay. Let's go over the drive. I don't know much about the drive, but I do know that this is a built drive. It's got dual ram steering on it, which is something you want in a fast boat. The guy who had previously owned it, he uh, he blew it up. <laughs> Since this thing has a loping idle, you have to kind of shift it and drive in reverse at the right time. Or else if the idle's too high, you, you could damage the, the gears in there. So anyways, this is a brand new drive. I think it's valued about eight grand. And we'll go over the inside in a second. Okay, here we are on the inside of the Daytona. There's really not much going on in here, but I will sit down in the cockpit and show you guys the gauges. So right here, you pretty much got every gauge you need. You have a GPS speedometer, so it tells you pretty much everything you need to know, mile an hour, trip, uh, engine hours, top speed, tell you all that stuff because it has it's digital right here. So I'll tell you how fast you're going. We do have a boost gauge right here, so you know how much boost you're running. Um, Previous owner told me this boat runs about nine, 10 pounds of boost. Right here we have a trim gauge. This tells you um, how far your drive is up and down. Here is the forward neutral reverse. And then right here, this is the throttle, but it's disconnected. It's got a voltage on the left, water temp in the middle, oil pressure on the right. It's got the RPM gauge right here, the fuel level right here. There's two tanks in this boat. Each tank is about 27 gallons. You can juggle between the left tank and the right tank. It'll tell you, see how much gas is in there. There's the right tank, there's the left tank. Here's the trim right here for the drive. And then we also have it wired to the steering wheel that way when you're driving, you don't have to take your hand off the steering wheel. You can uh, use the trim. The trim is what adjusts the drive up and down. Usually you have to adjust the trim to get the boat out of the water. It makes it go faster. Then right here we have our stereo. This is an Alpine head unit. It's Bluetooth, it also has a cover, but we just leave that open. The sweet thing about this is, is it has two amps eight speakers and it has a 12 inch subwoofer. It's a kicker audio system and we have the amps hidden under the seats. So there's one amp under that seat over there and there's one amp under that seat. I'll turn it on real quick, but I have to play a boring song because of the, because of the copyright. So I'll pop the hatch, 
I'll show you the stereo system and then we'll go over the motor. So the cool thing about this is it also has four speakers integrated into the hatch. These are eight inch um, kicker speakers. So we have four back here and then we have four up front, two over there, two over there, and then the 12. So I'll just fire up a song real quick just so you guys can hear how insanely loud this thing is. So this thing's gonna bump on the water. You can hear it from very far away. Very good stereo system, very good. So the cool thing about that too is you can also put a stereo with the key off in case you're chilling and you don't have to leave your ignition on, kill your battery. Okay, this engine is a 565, it has a Dart Big M block, Eagle crankshaft and rods, got JE pistons, pins and rings, got Clevet main bearings and rod bearings, Melling high volume oil pump, 10 quart oil pan, can't see that, solid copper head gaskets, Brodix two extra cylinder heads, these got stainless steel valves in them, comp cams, roller rockers and push rods, this is a Mooneyham blower, a magnesium blower, this is a 1471, this thing is freaking huge. The intercooler, which is right here, has its own C strainer. So it has a pickup on the bottom of the boat. I don't know if you can see that down there. It has a pickup on the bottom of the boat when you start hauling ass, it starts picking up water, puts it through the strainer, puts it through the intercooler, and then sends it out the side of the boat. These carbs right here are uh, twin Holly 750 carburetors. It's got a Holly fuel pump. And then these are CMI wet headers. Wet headers are basically the water gets sent through the motor with the with the water pump it's sent to the motor then it comes out of here goes down and then each tube on the header has its own water port so the water gets sent through the headers which keeps the headers really cool and then it just goes out the back of the boat cool thing about this boat too is it's also pretty dang quiet because the exhaust goes into the water i think this thing's running maybe 10 pounds of boost a little bit less so this motor supposedly makes around 1,000 to 1,100 horsepower. So that's pretty much it on the overview of the boat. We're gonna go to a local ramp, Site 6, right over uh, off the island in Havasu. We're gonna take it out on the water, fire it up, see how it idles, and then we're gonna take it out for a spin, see how it runs. If everything runs good, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go for some speed runs. We'll see you out there. first drive was good she runs good now we're just gonna check and make sure a she's not taking in water and b she's not running like shit but she sounds pretty good
it is, boys and girls. I said, Dad, fire up, take it for a drive. This guy puts her up to 101, and he says he wasn't even full throttle. Still a few things we're figuring out on this. Uh, the trim, once we figure that out 100%, this thing will go fast. And uh, we are also smoking our alternator belt, so we need to figure something out. We're out here not trying to get copyrighted. Got these jet boats over here. Fast jet boats, see one of them's blown. And then these guys don't even have back seat. Cruising three people deep. How'd you feel, man? You just hopped in that boat and you did 100 right off the bat. That's how you break it in. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be gentle, testing out the boat. He hops in there, he literally puts the pedal to the floor. And then he said there's still more in it. A lot more. Jesus Christ, I wasn't even trimmed out. <laughs> I was just idling. Today was a great day for your 19th Daytona. Yeah. There was a couple smooth spots out there. Yeah, well you see all the jet guys are going out there. They're all gonna go have some fun. What a ride. Went for a nice ride, cruise, boat runs good. Parked it over here at the Turtle Bar, right outside the Havasu Channel, right by the Nautical Inn. We're gonna have a celebration drink. Tied the boat down pretty good. And uh, this thing ain't going anywhere. Now we gotta get some speed in. See what this puppy's got. These drives have trim, right? So you, in order to go faster, you have to kind of mess with the trim. Because if you just leave the drive all the way down, it's not gonna go that fast because it's gonna bury the front end in the water. We need to lift the front end, get some lift, get some of the boat out of the water, and then we'll start going a little bit faster. So we're gonna just go out there and mess with that a little bit, kind of see what the boat does. Earlier when my dad drove it, he hopped in there and just did 101 like right off the bat because uh, he knows how to drive these boats. He told me to go out there and figure it out, so that's exactly what we're gonna go do. All right guys, let's go. Got you by one mile an hour. Uh oh. Let it spin. Let it. He knows. <laughs> he knows. And they say you're Chevy and shit. <laughs> it almost wasn't. <laughs> as soon as it starts hopping, you're just not on the gas enough. Just put the pedal down and it'll stop. Yeah, yeah. Put the pedal down and then trim it up. And, th and that's what I was doing. I was tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. And then I felt the speed. Yeah, faster, should, faster, faster. It should go up to 115, 120. And then finally, I was like, you know what? You got to hit that point when it gets, you got to hit that point and then it'll start going after 100. See this? That <gasps> <gasps> What the hell did you hit him on? That right there is costing you 10 miles an hour. We gotta straighten that out and then pile it down. Oh, that's Did I just put a, a big dent in a thousand dollar prop? <laughs> I take the boat out one time and I put a dent in the prop. Look at that. Hopefully we can fix that. That's my, that's totally my bad. All I know is guys, this boat hauls ass. 
the next time we go out, I gotta wear goggles. Okay. So the air was getting past my sunglasses and I, I wasn't, I, my vision started getting blurry. Oh, surprise, I and thought this windshield would bring it over your head. I, I don't know the lake that well, so it just, it got kind of, it got kind of sketchy, but I wanted to beat his top speed. So I, I just stayed on it until I saw 102 and then I got off of it. This thing has a lot more in it. There was even more RPM. I gotta look at the video, but I'm pretty sure we were only at like five grand. Good way to break in a boat. Yeah, she runs, bring it out, hit 100 miles an hour more than once. I was sitting there, I, was, I turned off the engine, I was listening to you guys, so I could hear your roar over yeah. there. We launched at a ramp called Side 6, and apparently there must have been a low spot where we tapped the prop on. It didn't hit the drive or anything, it just hit one blade on the prop. What we did, we just used a freaking crescent wrench, and we just kind of took the dent out. We're gonna make it straight again, and then we're gonna have to fix it with a file. We can file everything good again. But how many miles an hour that co was that costing me? At least five. I guess that's a lesson learned. If you guys like these lake house videos, let me know. I never really film when I come down here, but we got all these toys. It's got motorcycles, razors, Harleys. Here's my dad's boat. It's a 25 foot commander. We can also do some footage on this stuff if you guys like it. And uh, one more thing, I gotta show them one more thing. So this is a new boat, but I never showed you guys the old boat. We'll give you a quick sneak peek of that because uh, this boat probably will be for sale soon, depending with the motor without, depending on the price. Let's check it out quick. So this boat right here, this is a 19 foot Eliminator Daytona. As you guys can see, it's a lot smaller. It's only a two seater. This is actually a light lay drag boat, which means this is the light version and uh, it's actually built to be a drag boat. Not only did uh, we build this to go fast, but we also built it to go fast for a long time. This is a 22 gallon fuel tank. We got um, a PSI offshore racing blower on there. We got Dart Big Chief heads on there. We have a Chevy bow tie block. This thing's running about 18 pounds of boost. It has um, Enderly mechanical fuel injection on there, which means this pump is actually driven by the crankshaft and that will draw fuel from this tank, bring it up here, shove it into the motor and then whatever returns will come out of these two and they return back before the pump so the pump can take the gas up again. So this engine's a little bit crazier than that one and this boat is no joke, it's really fast. So we've taken this boat out numerous, numerous times. We've gone really fast in it. This motor should be running about 1,200 horsepower and uh, it is a lot rowdier than that motor. The only thing is this boat is kind of scary. Not good with rough, rough water and uh, jet boats, there's a lot to them to get them to go fast. You know, we've been working on the pump. This pump is actually built by Chris over at B1 Racing. He's uh, well known for his jet boat pumps. So we got a very expensive pump in here. And uh, all, all we've been doing the whole time we've owned it is trying to get it to go faster. You guys wanna see another video on this boat? We can also do a full build on this and we can take it out for a spin as well. Okay guys, that's just gonna be about it for this video. We have to go back home. Sadly, the weekend's over for us, but if you guys like this content, let me know. Tell me how you like this video. Tell me how you like the boat. And uh, hopefully we come back down here, we'll perfect it, we'll get some more speed out of her. So right now our top speed is 102 miles an hour. I know she's got more in her, so we're gonna straighten out that prop. We're gonna try a few different things with the trim, and hopefully next time we can get her up to at least 110. So thanks for watching guys. Aisha Hernagarza, Slightly Modified. I'm out, peace.